Hi everyone, welcome to task two, part one for the BCG strategy consulting uh, virtual experience. Um, today we're gonna to be going through task two and I also decided to use Google Sheets rather than Excel because a lot of companies now are using the G Suite um, and one that I'm interning for as well is using the G Suite. So um, it's good to kind of uh, familiarize myself with Google Sheets. So we're gonna be using Google Sheets instead of Excel. Once you open it up in Google Sheets, it looks a bit like this. So we have company A, company B, um, some notes. Uh, we have a guiding sheet. Uh, so this is really useful. Um, yeah, if you're not sure exactly how to approach the problem. Uh, and company X where we will put in um, what we find, the comparables. Yep, that looks good. So first thing we're gonna do is um, also here we have um, some more terms. So if you're not familiar with finance, BCG provides you this doc with um, basically a bunch of definitions. Yeah, and uh, so yeah, first thing we're gonna do is create um, a new sheet. We're gonna call it comparables. And slide that over here. And we're gonna create a comparison for growth um, in industry average. So I'm just gonna quickly add that in here. There we go. So it should look something like this. Um, and then we are going to uh, find the difference between year one and year zero for both companies A and B. So we wanna add up operation revenue from A and B minus the operation revenue for year zero. And then divided by the sum of operating revenue for year zero for A and B. You could also use those up there. Let me just use those below. Create an average. There we go. And then the same thing for mobile subscribers. Company B, we get the year one. Add them up with company A minus year zero from both companies by the sum. Divided by the sum of the year zero and then change that to percent and then another average. There we go, and we can um, add a little comment, say like yeah, overall industry for one of our subscribers is growing at 2.03% on average. Great, and we'll just copy that across. So we have company A here, company B, and obviously the calculations will now be for the specific companies. So we'll just skip to that. There we go. All the calculations there and a new comment. So company B grows 2.58% below average. And company B has no leasing. So um, yeah, so that could be the result of that. So, we now need to create another table. Um, I'm gonna call it, this is the more comparables one. So some more reformatting, it's gonna look a little bit different. Again, this will be the industry average. So we have operating revenue. Um, we're gonna have net profit growth and ARPU. It's 
reformatting it. Oops. All right, and then we can add a definition. So like average revenue per user is what ARPU is. Actually, maybe I'll um, I'll move it down. <laughs> yeah, I'll move it across there. A bit better. All right. So, yeah, actually, we don't need year zero. So the first one's going to be exactly the same. Um, net profit will be calculated the same as we did before for operating revenue growth. Same same way, just um, through the net profit columns. You can have a look in the calculation. Um, An ARPU is a little bit different. So we're going to go to company B and we're going to do mobile service revenue plus company A for year one, divided by the total uh, number of subscribers, I believe, for both companies. Let me just think. Yeah, so that plus that, and then the the numbers are not exactly the right format so we need to multiply it by a thousand otherwise you'll get point something so we have 600 la 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 uh, that looks okay um yeah we'll go through there i think the other one might be monthly yeah there's the average okay nice so then now we're going to make something similar, but uh, for market share. Call that market share as a percentage. Uh, and mobile service. We don't need net profit anymore. Get rid of this. Um, and I think we, we're going to add a year zero this time. a little strange with the table above I might fix that later there we go something like that yeah that looks yeah that's nice it's better so for year zero uh, we basically just get mobile services uh, divided by that all across there we go we get an average Make sure it's calculating from the correct cells. And for ARPU, 14 mobile services divided by subscribers. Times 1,000, to dollars. And we'll put that all across, there we go. So you see a nice little increase there. We're gonna do the same for company B. There we go, yeah, same calculations. Add some comments, high growth in ARPU, then um, company B. Let's try to wrap that a bit. And then, um, yeah, decrease in uh, market share. Again, due to no leasing option. Yeah, so pretty simple. Um, yeah, the lower growth of ARPU than company A. 
Okay, so that's it for this part of the video. Um, the next part, we're gonna go through that comparable table for company X and um, basically use all these values that we found here to put them in. Um, also, there's like there's one assumption here that we're making and for market share that I think is important is that market uh, is that company A and B essentially make up um, the entire market. So that's where the numbers came from. Um, stay tuned for part two. Uh, where I put in the, where we put in these numbers for company X.